guys, it's Bethany here with Mommy's Movie Magic and today I'm going to do the Little Mermaid movie night with you. So excited, I have menu planned out with dinner, drinks, and snacks. And don't forget, I included in the description bar down below the recipe information that's on my blog so that you can go back at any time and reread the recipe, see the pictures, or take any necessary steps that you need to recreate tonight's movie night. So let's get started. For our Little Mermaid movie night, we're going to have mac and cheese shells, octopus hot dogs, seaweed salad. For dessert and snacks, we're gonna have goldfish mermaid popcorn. And drinks, we're going to have an under the sea blue drink. So we're gonna go ahead and get our pasta ready to go. So we're gonna fill up our pot with water and get our pasta ready to boil on the stove. We're gonna turn on the heat, get our pot on the stove, and I like to add some salt to my water so it keeps the pasta from sticking together. Once the water is boiling, you're gonna put in two cups of pasta shells. I chose the medium-sized pasta shells, but you can choose whatever size you want. And then we're gonna set our timer for the time that it states on the box. For mine, it was 13 minutes. While the pasta is boiling, we're going to get our cheese ready. We're going to grate about a cup of cheese. I chose white cheddar and gouda. I just love the mixture. It tastes amazing. And then our pasta is ready to go, so we're going to empty it out into our strainer and get all the water out of our pasta. We're going to put our pot back on the stove and then we're going to put our two and a half tablespoons of butter into the pot and wait for it to melt. I like to move it around so that it melts a little faster. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our two tablespoons of flour and our half spoon of ground mustard. Trust me, it's amazing. We're gonna mix that up and cook it for about another minute or two until it makes this nice little paste. That's gonna be the base for your mac and cheese sauce. Once it cooks up like this, we're gonna then add in our milk. We're gonna pour it in slowly and mix it while it's being added so that the milk doesn't burn at the bottom. And you're going to keep mixing it until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, it'll be thick enough like heavy cream and you want to turn the boil off and wait for it to stop boiling before you add in your cheese. Then we're going to add our salt, our sugar, and some pepper. And we're going to give that a good stir when we're finished. So once the cheese is all melted, we're going to add back in the pasta. And then we're going to give that a stir until everything's all mixed up. And then you can go ahead and add your pasta into a baking dish. Now you can absolutely be done right now with your mac and cheese. The next part is optional, but I so recommend it. It makes the mac and cheese turn out amazing. For the topping, we're going to start out with a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Add in two tablespoons of shredded Parmesan cheese and three tablespoons of melted butter. And we're gonna stir that all up and we're gonna sprinkle it on top of our mac and cheese that's inside of our baking dish. And then we're going to set the oven for 375 and we're gonna bake our mac and cheese for about 10 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now we have our mac and cheese shells in the oven and I'm going to go ahead and get our hot dogs ready for our octopus hot dogs. I'm sure I don't need to tell you how to make hot dogs. You can cook them, broil them, put them in the microwave, but if you wanna know how I do them, ask me below in the comments and I'll let you know how I prepare my hot dogs. But I'm gonna go make those up real quick on the grill and then I'll meet you guys back here. To make our octopus hot dogs, we're gonna take a half of the hot dog and we're gonna slice it down the middle lengthwise. And then we're gonna turn it again and slice it one more time to create four legs of the hot dog. Now to keep going, we're going to take each of those four legs and we're gonna slice them in half again, creating eight legs of our hot dog now. I'm gonna roll it over and do it again. And roll it over and do one more leg for eight. And we stand our little hot dog up and there's our little octopus. Okay, so we have taken care of and crossed off our list the mac and cheese and the octopus hot dogs. And next up on our list is our 
seaweed salad. I'll show you what I mean by that in a second. So all I did for my seaweed salad was literally take out a box of mixed greens that I had and I put them in a bowl and I called it seaweed salad. I needed something more than just mac and cheese and hot dogs for my dinner, so I added a salad to the side and called it seaweed. And I just added some toppings that are my favorites and literally that is it. It's that easy. It looks delicious, but I love mixed green salad. I like to make my drinks individually so I don't make too much of it. So I started with this blue Hawaiian punch and filled up my glass about a third full. And then I put some Sprite, another third full. And then I got this frozen lemonade from the frozen section at the grocery store. And I put in about two big tablespoons at a time and gave it a good stir. It turned out this beautiful color that was perfect for a Little Mermaid movie theme night. Mm. And let's say you wanna make it an adult beverage. How about half that lemonade that I told you to put in and add some vodka or even some lemonade vodka. And that sounds fantastic if you wanna adult friendly your drinks. I wanted to do a popcorn dessert for our movie night. So I started with this non-buttered popcorn and added these vanilla cupcake graham crackers in them. And I found these purple thick slits as well as this candy melts in the I like to use candy melts because they're not as messy as frosting. So I put them in the bowl and melted them into the microwave for about a minute, took them out and stir it, and then I put it back in for about another 15 seconds and it was completely melted to what I wanted it to be. I also popped my popcorn in the microwave and put it in my bowl to get ready to mix everything in. I put about a cup of the goldfish graham crackers in I also added a cup of pretzels to balance out the sweetness. And then I found these purple six slits in the cake making aisle and I added them in as well. And then from here, I gave it a big stir and then added in my chocolate, melted chocolate on top of it. So all my recipes I gave you today, you can obviously do whatever you want with it. If you have a great mac and cheese recipe, Use it and just put the shells so that it matches the movie night. Heck, go to the store and go buy a box of mac and cheese. My daughter loves the white cheddar mac and cheese box and they have the shells already in it. Make it easy on yourself and just put that right into your movie night and it matches everything. Heck, the drink that I even made for you, I don't even care. Just put the blue Hawaiian punch into a bowl, call it under the seawater, and there you go. Hey girls, are we ready for our Little Mermaid movie night? So that's it for the Little Mermaid movie night. I hope you guys enjoyed my recipes. If you try any of them for your Little Mermaid movie night, let me know down in the comments below what you did and maybe how you changed it to make it your own. So before I leave you guys today, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on notifications to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my movie nights. This is just the beginning. So I'm really excited to be here with you guys for all kinds of different movies. And make sure you also go and follow me on Instagram where you can see behind the scenes information on how I make my movie nights come alive and all the things that I do to get ready for them. I also have a Pinterest page and my blog that you can go and follow for all the recipes and all the individual components that I went through through our movie night tonight. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys next time on Mommy's Movie Magic.